Hey guys, it's Lisa. Welcome to Banning, Panning and Beyond and part two of my collab with Joylyn Grindall. So I um, will link the other video or part one if you haven't already seen it. Um, but I will also show you the palette again. Um, and I'm sure a lot of you will already be familiar with which palette we're using. So it's the Nikki Tutorials x beauty bay um, palette and for part two of the collab we are using the bottom half and i'll just show you up again so it's from here to here basically and uh, this time around joy was the one who actually rolled the random numbers so i'm going to swatch the shades uh, for you guys i have already swatched them this morning uh and i have to say even though i know um, which shades i have i've still got no idea what look i'm going to do so uh so basically um not in the order they were rolled but just numerical order we got shade number one which is this one here so i'm going to swatch that one and it's a periwinkle blue very um doesn't seem to be very pigmented now siri thinks i'm talking to her with my watch no 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 i'm not talking to you um okay and then we got number four which is that one and that is described as a green um duochrome even though it looks very very gold to me you probably don't know if it's going to pick up or not but my son is in the room um uh, sort of that wall there um is an, an adjoining wall to where my son is and he is composing music at the moment and uh yeah he's got one of those i don't know what they're called but where it sort of sets the beat um I'm not musical, so I don't know what it's called. Uh, okay, and then, so we had one and four, and then even though these don't seem very random, um, it, we got six, seven, and eight. So it is these three there. So I'll switch those for you. So I, um, I'm not gonna go into what Joy's channel is about because uh, I already covered that in part one and um, if you haven't already gone to check Joy's um, video or channel out uh, then you know I'm going to link her in the description box and it'd be great if you would go and um, show her some support so it's so awkward doing these swatches but wow that is stunning okay so probably they look like a really pretty combo, uh, swatched, but wh what I'm going to do with them on the eye, I've got no idea. And this shade really bothers me because it just looks like a nothing shade. So it probably would be something that would be good to have that white base underneath, but uh, uh, I'm just, I've never really done that before. So I'm for this collab I'm not going to make that my first time so I'm going to now wipe those off so you can see the shades that I'm working with and um, I'm just guess I'll have to get into it so I'm just going to clean my arm off so I don't transfer all of that over onto my clothes all right so <sighs> this is going to be a real challenge and I'm oh I'm not going to stop the video and restart I may edit this bit out I don't know but I forgot my eyeshadow brushes so I'm not gonna get real far uh, without them although that said I do have some here um, the ones that Siobhan gave me but um, for my birthday but unfortunately I haven't sanitized them yet so I don't want to go in it would not be wise to go in and use them so all right just give me one sec okay 
okay and i am back oh before i do my eye look um oh, you can't really pick up on it um just on my dress dressing sort of or tall boy over there dresser i'm not sure everyone calls them differently but my set of drawers i uh, have a um a really cute pumpkin garland is it a garland i don't know or a garland's round it's like tinsel um and i also this will probably be the last will it no actually even though i'm filming this now this is not going up till november so um i don't even know that why i'm wearing this because it's going to be past halloween by the time this goes up but i did want to show you guys because i haven't shown you yet this cute little candle that i picked up it smells like grape hubba bubba or bubble gum i'm not sure where hubba bubba sells if it's in every country or not whether you'd know what that means but absolutely love the scent of that candle so and i know that i once that is melted down i'm going to be keeping the jar so okay anyway enough of procrastinating uh, i'm just gonna have to start um with this look and yeah not feeling super confident so it'd be yet again probably even more interesting um this time around to see what joy does with her look and uh maybe if anybody else has this palette um and they want to uh do the same shades and and do like sort of join in on the collab like check out what shades we've used in each um, video and then recreate a look of your own with those and uh, make sure um, you let me know so I can check out and see what look um, you've done with it. So I'm thinking for a crease shade, probably because I've got three shimmers to work with. So the only two mattes are these two. So I'm probably gonna use this as my, as my crease shade. Uh, all right we'll see some of my favorite brushes need to be washed so this is quite pigmented actually so i'm just gonna go in with a very very light hand to start off with and you can see that a lot of color is coming off that despite i am barely barely touching the brush to my eye such a pretty pretty color and i have actually tapped some off already so you do get a bit of kick up in the in the pans um but i honestly it doesn't bother me uh, as long as i don't end up with fallout all over my face which is why i sort of tap the brushes off um so i think I am going to leave the really, really light blue shade till last. Uh, one thing I did notice is I don't have a deepening shade. So, and like Joy and I didn't sort of specify that we couldn't use additional shades um, doing this collab, but because we didn't say we could, I'm not going to. So I'm just going to stick to the five. Um, that got rolled or generated by pretty random so okay well that's that done so i think this the best way to go about this perhaps is I'm just going to blend that out a little bit higher and use all that lid space that i have got between my mobile lid and my brow because you know don't have much lid space like mobile lid space so i really need to utilize this area up there so um yeah so i think pro process of elimination um i think that this shade here called all in will be my inner corner shade uh maybe i think maybe this pink here i would use as my lid my mobile lid uh and that maybe on my lower lash line so really really don't know what to do with that light blue one 
Hmm. This will be interesting. So yeah, definitely can be curious to see what Joy does with her colours. Um okay. Where are we? Maybe I might have to combine some colours and see what colours I get with those. So I'm not gonna be doing this in in obvious order, I don't think. Alright. So I'm going to go in with the pink called Pride here, which let me see what it's described as just a pink duochrome. I haven't used any um, glitter glue or um, I've used like an eyeshadow primer, which I'm not actually happy with because it's quite old and it dries quite patchy. So, oh wow, look at that. That is very very foiled um okay so i'll do that on the other side so it'll be interesting to see because i haven't put an actual eyeshadow base down just the primer be interesting to see how long this lasts on on my lid all right And it does say, I'm pretty sure for these, you could use a brush or a finger for that one. Yep. Um, I'm just going to clean my finger off. I think I might actually go in with Mama Tutorials, which is this blue one here. I might do that on the outer lid and again, I'll... I'll use my finger for that and just sort of blend it in. So I was going to do this on the lower lash line, but now that I've put that other one on the lid, oh, she is bright. So I'm going to try and blend those two in together. So don't, uh, hmm. wow, I cannot believe <laughs> how bright that blue is. It is an absolutely stunning colour. Uh, for me, you know, I don't wear blue um, shadow very often, but I do have blue on today. Um, so I'm wondering, might put a bit more pink in. Try and get them to blend a bit better into each other. Just tone that blue down a little bit. So I'm thinking about what I can um, update you guys on while I'm uh, trying to create a look uh, with the, this really odd uh, palette bingo um, colours. So um, I do I did mention and in the last video sort of a, a health update um, on me on uh, in regards to myself and my husband um, but I um, also have to tell you guys um, that I also went for an MRI on on this wrist and uh, turns out that I'm I, I've had it recommended that I need to uh, get an operation done and um i'm really really not keen i think that for as long as i can um, manage um, without that um, i'm gonna go in with all in now uh, this one here in my inner corner yeah i'm just really not keen to um have an operation if i don't have to that is a very, very pretty colour as well. So a lot of glitter, a lot of not a lot of mattes going into this look today. Um, so basically uh, the bone, uh, the two bones, main bones that run up here, um, I, whoops, I've just put shadow on my wrist. Uh, on this side here, um, that the bone is slightly too long. And because of the work that I was in um, for the last so five, six years uh, where I used my this wrist a lot. Basically that bone has um, rubbed away at the, 
the bone that it connects to up in my wrist here and uh, it's wearing away the cartilage and the doctor basically said it's just going to get worse with age um, so it, it's that kind of toss up you know do I put off um, and wait for a little bit longer so I'm going to go in with that matte now the matte blue see what I can get that one to do um, might yeah okay i'll go in with the matte blue first yeah so anyway I'll, i'm not real sure at this stage what i'm gonna do uh, is this blue even going to show up not really so i have to say that so far out of the 10 shades that i have used in this palette it's the only one that's really sort of disappointed me um, really just does nothing yeah so I'm, I'm kind of up in the air um, where I'm gonna go so I'm gonna try this the the shimmer the mama tutorials I'm gonna try um, that on a brush now and I'll do it in the um, in this bottom outer lash line and you know what although it says you can use a brush it's done absolutely nothing so maybe i'll have to spray the brush and see i'll give it a bit of a dip in and see whether or not this makes a difference Better, but still nowhere near um, what you would get um, with your finger so I, I feel until I put mascara on uh, I'm not really feeling this look it definitely uh, I guess more of a spring spring look which is it is spring here where I am um, in Australia so not something that probably a lot of people um, would be pumping out right now although a lot of people probably are playing with this palette but they may be going for different um colors in it so oh dear uh, what to do with that light blue i might combine the blue with the um, peach color zoma so i haven't told any of you guys this but um you know, i actually have Dutch ancestry on my mother's side so completely irrelevant um, other than the fact that obviously you know Nikki tutorials um, and I can't speak Dutch uh, when I was a kid we did learn some of the basics uh, but yeah unfortunately um, my grandmother was very much uh, who we called Oma, um, probably a very Australian pronunciation of, of it. Um, but uh, yeah, she was all for speaking English and sort of integrating um, with, um, with Australians, and, um, even though they still spoke Dutch um, at home. Uh, I remember going to visit a lot when I was a, a child and she'd have friends over. And they'd all, all the adults would be speaking Dutch around me. I couldn't understand a word of what was being said, but uh, I'm sure that's why they did it. <laughs> uh, anyway, this is this is what I've come up with. Um, so let's see what difference it makes once I put the mascara and my eyeliner and everything on and see whether or not I can actually transform this into actually looking half decent. So I'm going to jump off camera to do that and I will be back. Okay, so here is the finished look. Um, I ended up trying to use a little bit of that light blue just in the um, in a part of the the crease there, just to lighten that up. And yeah, it just basically turns to dust. So um, I've also, which you probably can't really see, I have got glitter everywhere under my eyes um, from the duochrome shades. So definitely a glitter glue. Um, would be 
a good choice, I think, to go under those. So um, definitely mascara, I think, saved the day and gave the look a bit more depth. Uh, I, I was happy to be able to use some of my Roulette Pen Collab products. So I've got the lip gloss um, that's currently in that and the high um, that highlighting um, stick uh, for my brow bone. And I used the highlighter, which again is not showing up at all. Um, but you can see that I am... I'm, I'm oh, actually, no, it's not even showing up. I'm mainly trying to work here um can see if it's wearing away some of the pattern there but unfortunately yeah it's just not really doing much so i think next time um i'll try and wet the brush and see whether i can get a little bit more intensity out of that one so i think in the end um the look came out okay um definitely having mascara on the lower lashes helped um so let me know what you think, uh, whether you like what I ended up creating, what you would have done differently. And like I said, if anybody has this palette and wants to recreate these looks in their own way and um, join in on the collab, I'm sure Joy um, wouldn't mind at all. Um, sorry, I didn't discuss this with you first, Joy. <laughs> um, but anyway, guys, uh, that is it. So thank you to Joy for collabing with me. I'm really keen to see... Um, what you've done um, with these shades so uh, yeah uh, an absolutely beautiful palette um, got the duochromes are fabulous and I can't wait to um, dip into this a little bit more I haven't used really any of the neutral shades um, in the palette other than this one I believe um, so yeah definitely um, a really nice well-rounded palette I think with options for neutral lovers as well as um, people who really love um, their color and I don't believe that they're as scary in real life as what they look in the palette so um, so that's it guys um, thank you for joining me and uh, yeah I will see you in the next video bye